Hello YouTube, this is Code9. In this video, we will learn how to connect our Java application to SQL Server database in Eclipse using a SQL JDBC driver. You can download it from the link given in description. Let's start. First, we need to make sure that our server is configured to accept TCP connection. Right click on my computer go to manage expand services and application go to sql server configuration sql server network configuration protocols make sure this is enabled if this is disabled then right click on it and click on enable and after enabling TCP IP, you need to restart your SQL Server. Okay, I have already done this, so I am not restarting my SQL Server. Now let's see our code. First of all, you need to add reference of jdbc driver to your project right click on your project go to configure build path yeah, just in say remove it add external jar now your sql jdbc driver is added to your project now let's see our code these are the packages need to import for this code spring server this variable is the name of your default server integer port this port is the sql server is listening to to find out which port is listening i have used a program called tcp view you can download it I have given the link in the description. Run it, then it will give all the processes and their port numbers. Look at SQL Server dot Which port number is listening? Three eight five eight. This is the port number SQL Server is listening. 3858 spring user username <coughs> for to connect the server password of the server database database name which this, this is the name of the database you are connecting spring jdbc url connection variable to hold the connection first we need to load the driver form dot microsoft dot sql server dot jdbc dot sql server driver this is the path of driver then we initialize the jdbc url in this format i have given this in the description you can copy and replace your jdbc url with this now prepare the statement to pass a query. This prepared statement variable name connection variable dot prepared statement your query. Declare a result set to hold the result written from this query. Now while loop to print all the results. Now let's run it. Here is the result id1 user equal id, id2 user equal r4. Here select all from user execute all are same. The next video we will use this code and develop a login channel in Java. Goodbye.